our informational video on caffeine. So sit back and enjoy. Give me a black coffee. Straight. On the rocks. In the 1400s, a man named Christopher Columbus sailed to the West Indies, or also known as South America. Columbus met the Aztec leader, Montezuma, who gave him the primitive cocoa bean, a new trading item for Spain. The cocoa bean contained the first and only amount of caffeine that others around the world at the time had seen. The Aztecs made a drink from these beans which would be considered to us a primitive coffee-type drink. Although no one knows exactly what Columbus gave to the Aztec in return, it is known that he brought back what is now today coffee or cocoa beans. And now, 10 tips on caffeine. Don't be a silly fool. Ten grams of caffeine can kill. willing to do I <laughs> Todd are you not aware that I get farty and bloated with a foamy latte
not only a stimulant and addictive drug, but it is also a very harmful drug, with showings of many serious side effects. First of all, caffeine affects mostly women and children. Caffeine is very damaging to women, for it affects their bone mass, and by drinking it, they're risking heart disease, anxiety, anemia, etc., etc. It can also affect reproduction, and surprisingly, it has numerous emotional effects, such as depression and panic attacks. <coughs> Children are also affected and are properly caffeine tried. For caffeine, for coffee, soft drinks, and even tea, all contain amounts of caffeine. Caffeine has numerous effects on children, and some of them are listed next. Here are some popular and main caffeine effects with a definition. Anxiety, a state of uneasiness and tension. Insomnia, the, in the inability to fall asleep. Cardiovascular disease, a disease that affects the heart and blood vessels. <coughs> Diabetes, a disorder <coughs> involving the pancreas and the slow production of insulin. Gastrointestinal disease, a disease that affects the stomach and intestinal organs. Caffeine is also said to improve your mood and memory slash learning. This is not true. Caffeine can in fact cause depression and it slows down your oxygen transfer to the brain, therefore reducing your brain activity by almost 30%. Do the math. The average coffee drinking person drinks a standard of 200 milligrams of caffeine per day. That's about two cups of coffee daily. The fatal dose is 10 grams of caffeine. You would have to drink for 50 days in order to reach this amount. And over 50 days, your body would have become addicted to it. The following paragraph is taken, from one of our, is taken directly from one of our resources. The fact is, <clears throat> that coffee is a terrible, inefficient, and incredible labor-intensive crop. Coffee is the seed of a cherry from a tree. Coffee cherries ripen at different times, so they have to be picked by hand. It takes approximately 200 Ara Arabic cherries to produce just one pound of roasted coffee. Since each cherry contains two beans, one pound of coffee ha is derived from 4,000 coffee beans. The average coffee tree only produces one to two pounds of mastered coffee per year and it takes four to five years to produce its first crop. Do the math. The world demand is six billion kilograms per year. That's 13 billion pounds. If the average tree produces one to two pounds of roasted coffee per year, these 13 billion pounds of coffee require at least seven billion coffee trees. The average farmer gets about 100 trees per acre, which means that 70 million acres of the most fertile land on this planet it's devoted entirely to growing a product with no nutritional value, one that actually has proven and significant anti-nutrient properties that is addictive and that contribu contributes to a long list of disease states. This shows that coffee and other caffeinated drink productions are taking away our precious resources for no good cause. Well, I'm Justin Ashley. And I'm Kevin Pitchford. Saying good night, Canada. bone mass, and by drinking it, they're risking heart disease, anxiety, and anemia. ETC, ETC. It can also Justin, I think we had enough. Oh, man. <laughs> Do the math. <laughs> we're supposed to say that. I know.